energy work. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So um, a part of my journey there, I wanted to kind of talk about energy work. And so part of my learning, my spiritual journey is to understand, you know, the body, the framework, how it's set up. So going on the journey of Reiki um, and understanding working with the clients and doing Reiki um, as a Reiki master, um, connecting in to the divine, higher self-consciousness, and then bringing through the energy healing, um, uh, and then which is called prana. Um, if you've done Reiki or had Reiki done on you or you've taken the class and you kind of understand it, but if you don't, it's, it's prana which is the divine energy of source, bringing that energy healing in, which we um, have on the other side when we're cleansing ourselves and we are doing that work over there. But um, as we bring that through and to use that with our clients, um, you have the body structure is what I wanted to kind of talk about here with it, not really channeling the energy, but um, from me learning along the journey of Reiki, our body holds a lot of memory, information, DNA structures, um, and symbolism, symbolic, and a lot of times that is um, how I learned about a lot of stuff. Um, and our body is like a directional um, setting, right? And so as I was going around the body and tuning to it, picking up on the energy and vibration and reading the energy and being my guides um, explaining stuff to me, um, there are certain things as you're going around the body which you'll be able to tap into and read. So for instance, your feet are about your path, your legs are um, anything on the bottom, you know, your legs, ankles, any of that. Is about your path, what you're walking, and then you're outgoing, what you're putting out into the world is your rights, and then what you're bringing in is from the left. Your back is your past, your forward is your front, um, how you're perceiving it. Um, the rights going this direction is the future, this direction is going to be your past. So anytime that you are in those positions, um, unconsciously you are picking up um, those energy and vibrations and so when you're looking to the future right and so you're unconsciously looking and you're dropping you're grabbing energy from that direction but that's what's all kind of stored um, within you right from that point of view which is the energy it's like a recording um, of the information that you're putting into the body. So for instance, um, when we have unresolved emotions, right, and those are stored in the body. And so as we are, they, because they're non-physical, they partake in the physical and then the non-physical. So what that means is um, for them to be excreted or out of the body, they come through when we are excreting, right? And so they help process everything. So like your liver, your kidneys, um, um, they're going to help process the emotions. It's connected to that area. And so whenever I was working over that, you know, and people were having digestive issues, you know, um, they were having gallbladder, they were having um, a lot of different issues, you know, with their kidneys, um, the uterus, you know, and it all has a purpose. And if you don't know about the chakras, that's included. Um, those are your energy centers um, that source energy comes through um, into the physical. It's, the, it's in the dimensions that helps you bring into the physical form, um, which is the genetic makeup of source into physical form. And then that is the reality that you live from, right, which is the concepts. So where are you on that timeline and that frame of reference? Are you a base chakra or higher chakras, right? And so... Um, that's where you live from, that you're seeing from. Are you in the heart space? Are you in the mind? Um, or are you in the third eye, right? The higher consciousness, the crown chakra. Are you living out of your base chakra, um, which is survival and sexual instincts? And where are you on the timeline, which matches you as you're evolving in human form, right? And so at a certain timeline in our life, we have the 
certain chakras going off and like, you know, reproduction time, you're going to be more in your um, reproductive stage, right? And so you're going to be working from that chakra, right? And so it all has a part in play in the role as we are, um, and a lot of people don't are aware of it, but it shows up in our physical body. So like if you're not dealing with your emotions, I said, and you're not processing, they're going to get stuck in like your kidneys, um, in your lower area, your organs, right? And that's going to start breaking down and deteriorating. Um, anger can help create and trigger things that are going to create things like cancer, um, things like that. And so it will create things in you unconsciously that's going to contribute to it. So these are all contributing factors. So if you have unresolved emotions, anger, frustration, doubt, worry, anything on the, the negative streams of consciousness, you know, you may take up things as far as bad habits, smoking, drugs, drinking, right, to cope um, because you're not processing your emotions and letting them flow through and out through you. And so it's building up within you. And so you have these coping methods because you're not dealing with them. And so from there, it creates the cancer or the body breaking down and then the issues and the tissues, right? And so <laughs> um, it's all a systematic, right? But it all starts from energy. It all starts from the point of being outside of love, right? So no matter what it is, and, and the information, the memory is stored in your body. Um, so we can always tap into it at any time, you know, and release it um, and work on it. And because it's there, it's a memory that's been implanted, and each part of your body has an area where it's stored. Um, depending on what's related to it, your body will system it, systematically sort it out and store it where it needs to be stored, right? And so as I was going around the body, I was seeing where these different areas are and what was stored, and I was able to share with them what was being found there, and they were confirming it. And so having the realization that we have that as a part of the body and what the body actually is. It's a device for storing information um, on our journey and what we are processing and what we're not as we're moving through time, um, which is evolving. And so from that, how dense is our body, right? How, how much uh, is being stored in your body that we're not processing, allowing to just flow through us and we're holding on to it, you know, whether it's because our mind can't, can't comprehend it or something's been done to us and we're holding it and we're living in that space. Um, and so if we've something's been done to us and we've been hurt by it, we're holding and storing that. And then it creates stuff more, right? It either creates more depending on what it is um, or it can break down the body and you become ill and sick, right? And so you know, it's, it's important to know how your body works and how you're working with it and how it's functioning for you and how we're moving through and, you know, materializing stuff, you know, for ourselves. Um, and without that understanding, um, you know, we just go through life and we think, you know, well, the body's breaking down, you know, we're doing this, doing that. But actually, if we don't understand it, then we don't know it, and so we can't do nothing about it, right? But I recommend, recommend learning about energy and how it works in the body and how it's being stored because it, totally it totally changed my view on everything um, on that because whenever I did my own self-healing, whenever I was uh, working with emotions and I would go to the bathroom, um, I, it was like this need to continuously go to the bathroom when I was doing my energy self-work it was flushing out it was being flushed out through the system even if i wasn't drinking a lot of water right but it's important to drink water and a lot of people don't because they don't realize how water flows and cleanses the body for us but they don't drink water um, which is a problem <laughs> it's not just for hydrating the body your body doesn't need hydrate it's already got water um, we do it so it flows the energy through and cleanses uh, the body Right. And so that's an important part of, you know, with our emotions, you know, doing self work, healing. But in the body, we have all these like little pockets um, where energy and information is stored um, to which we can go back to and heal and transform and regenerate it. Um, and so a lot of the things that we come up with as far as like cancer and bone density and illnesses on all levels, we can heal and change that, right? And there's many people and proof out there that you can do it um, if you understand everything and how it works. But 
Um, as I said, your body is kind of like a diagram. It stores things, there's little pockets where all that information is stored, like DNA information, and we can dive into that and read it, uh, what's there, which was what I was doing with my clients, and then transform it. Um, and then um, as we're doing that, we're changing, and we have the ability then to make healing happen. And so uh, depending on what you do with it at that point, you know, if you want to keep carrying it, you know, there's nothing you can do. But if you're ready to let it go and transform it, then you can heal. You know, there is a time where maybe you are past that um, if you've let it go that long to where you can't go back. But for the most part, a lot of things are regenerative. Um, you can heal it and transform it so it doesn't keep going further. Um, and if you don't, and that's why I don't really encourage <clears throat> not doing the work and then having surgery because all you're doing is taking out that organ and not doing the work. So it's just going to show up somewhere else because when you don't have something, it's going to go to a different area. So it's still going to be there. So you do need to also do the work, right? No matter what that is, whatever's creating it. So you want to get to the root cause, um, which is what I found in doing energy work. You get to the root cause, you take a look at it on an energetic level and then um, because everything comes from energy into physical, right? So you are non-physical into physical form, the body, and so so is all everything else. That's the way it is. So as you are dealing with your non-emotional or non-physical stuff, like your emotions, your thoughts, your beliefs, um, your anger, your you know your feelings um, being integrated into the, the physical form they grow and they affect the physical body, right? And so it cuts you off on different dimensions and levels, like your chakras, your feelings, your emotions, it numbs you. Um, so there's a lot of things um, <clears throat> that, you know, we would want to work on. Yes, get done whatever you need to get done on that level of physical body, but also do the work. You need to do both, right? Because otherwise it's just going to move throughout the body. And I had that experience too, because it was just moving from place to place, right? And they were like, and that's why it's so hard for doctors to understand it because they don't have the training of the energy systems. Um, and because for one thing, if you're, if you're dealing with certain things, okay, so, something, so just say something happens in your life, right? And so you don't deal with it. And so it gets stored in the body where it's meant to go, right? For record keeping um, to whether you're going to use that in this lifetime or next lifetime, whatever that is, right? And so it may just be kind of, it's kind of like seed planted, but it doesn't grow or doesn't evolve until something else happens in another lifetime or down the road. And then every time you're triggered, it makes it grow, right? And so <laughs> if we don't deal with it at the beginning on an energetic level, it evolves, right? And it evolves into something else. And whether that's physical or you doing something to somebody or mentally, emotionally, physically, um, if we don't, deal with it and we ignore it and then it evolves it's going to start showing up in different places because if if something is happening in your foot right that's a memory of something that comes in about your path you're not taking your path it's showing up in your path right and so it's in your foot your ankle or your, your leg which is the right forward leg um and you're not going on your path uh, energetically, it's going to start building up information there and be like, hey, a little points here showing up, little points, aches, pains um, in the physical form so you can start paying attention and look at it, right? And so hmm, my foot is feeling weird. What's going on with my leg, right? And then you ignore it, right? And you just keep ignoring it and you just keep ignoring it. Oh, well, now I have created something that and my foot's going to be now amputated. And this is just, you know, elaborated, but it, I'm using it as an experience. Right? And so your foot is now being amputated. So whether that be you created um, coping skills um, because you're not worthy enough to go on your path. So you start eating a lot of ice cream and you develop diabetes and now your foot's being amputated. And so because your foot is no longer there, it's going to show up somewhere else. And so you may get a pain in your back, right? Wherever it's going to show up for you. And then, okay, so now I have the pain here because now you don't have that there to pay attention to because you've ignored it for so long. And then now you have something else. But now because you're telling doctor you have a pain in the back, so they'll send you to a chiropractic because the problem's not here, it's there, but you take that off. So you have no clue, right? And so <laughs> that's why doctors are not really 
able to identify what the root cause is. They don't know the energy. They don't know how to read energy. They don't know the information. They don't look into your life. They just look into, you know, oh, you're eating ice cream. And so now you have diabetes. And so they put you in a box and they give you insulin, which may help, but it's not resolving the problem, right? And you need to get to the grain of the problem the issue that created in the first place so you can change it right on a timeline. And that's just dealing with your stuff. And so if you just deal with your stuff as it comes um, into your life, then you're not going to have any of that stuff. And so you evolve on a human level in a better way, more healthy and balanced um, in life, right? And so you're able to negate the illnesses and diseases and things. And although the body does decay at some point because we do evolve and get older, and at some point that we don't need the body anymore because we're going back home, Yes, it does get to a point where we don't need it anymore. But the problem is if we've, we've forgotten over time of who we truly are, right? And so because we've forgotten who we truly are and how this all works, we are in the human concept. And so we look at it from that point of view. And so we don't have the understanding. And that's why our lives are shortened because we didn't always have such short lives, right? And our bodies breaking down as they are we've used to fu live full lives, right, in very healthy ways. And so we had extended lifetimes. But now our lives are shortened because we have forgotten who we are on a different level other than our human concept. And so we've created this ourselves by taking up, you know, the false belief systems um, on different levels, you know, about who we believe we are versus who we truly are. Right? And so, which is source consciousness, the lineage. Um, but that kind of breaks it down a little bit and kind of what I wanted to put out there. Um, and because you can see that people who are, you know, working on themselves, um, staying active and not, they live longer lives, right? And so, and fulfillment, right? And so they're able to maintain a longer lifespan than those who are not dealing with their stuff. Um, but if you just deal with your stuff as it comes up, your emotions, your thoughts, and do self-work and start being present and maintaining your life, then you're going to have a whole different outcome, right? It doesn't have to be that way. These are all just trigger points, you know, and things that are um, not being dealt with, you know, just because we've forgotten. And I don't really want like to use the word forgotten because we just, it's that, not that we really have forgotten, we just don't remember. <laughs> Because we haven't intentionally forgotten, it's just we haven't, when we come into the physical body, body, we don't have that stuff, that information that we're bringing in with us. And then as we are born into the body, um, you know, we start believing out of our trueness um, into the human concept because our parents teach us different things and what actually is on the other side. So it's kind of like forgetting, but we just, we just don't remember who we truly are at some point. It just kind of fades and we don't have the capacity to bring all that information into the human body um, and into the front main frame until we come back to it which is part of the evolution at some point but i do wanted to just share that about you know some of my journey through working with energy doing reiki healings for people as a reiki master um, i don't necessarily do energy healing um, anymore um, as I've kind of moved into more of the channeling uh, work um, and one-to-one -one coaching sessions. But depending on the situation, I may uh, still do that. But anyway, yeah, that's just the, the way everything is set up. So you have, you know, everything stored in certain areas. Um, and so you may see that, you know, reflecting black. That's why your body is deteriorating. And so, again, the back is dealing with your past. The front is forward. This is the future, this is the past. And then every area in your body stores information, DNA, understanding emotions, thoughts, beliefs within you. And so that's where you, when you are acting on something, that's where you're playing, you're drawing that up from your informational bank, right? And so um, it's kind of like a computer system, you know, when you have a life situation, um, you're actually drawing up from your experience. And so whatever that experience is, it's how you're going to play that out to what you know of it, right? And so it's a recall, right? It's a recall. Um, information coming up is what they're calling it. It's a recall. And so when we have the recall, we're calling that up to the present moment and we act from it. And now when we're in the unconscious state, 
Um, we are just responding. Um, and when we are present and we're bringing that up, then we can see it and then we can understand it. And it's like, then we contemplate it, right? And so whatever, it's a recall for that situation that's playing out in the world can be something that's a cycle of the past, right? And so as you're bringing that up, you can see it which is an opportunity for you to heal, heal what's within the body because the outside at some point will bring that up within you as a trigger point to help deal with it that you haven't dealt with because it needs to shift out, right? Because where you're headed and where you're going is in a different direction than what that is. And if you have something within you that's a residual of an experience or understanding or knowing or something that is no longer true to you, then it is going to trigger you, which is the resistance of a self, which brings it up like a pimple, right? And so when you pop it, you're able to take a look at it um, and from that point of view and deal with it if you're willing to, right? And so that's how the body does it. It's like a cleaning system of its own. It does it on its own, right? And it works with everything, you know, within you. So say you've had past experience in the past and you've not dealt with it. And so two years later, you have a like scenario happen again which kind of triggers that to come back up and are you going to look at it from a different perspective are you going to change it transform it or heal it within you or whatever that is that helped bring that up for you because it's like the muck to the bottom of the glass and the water's on top and then all the nastiness is on the bottom and when that gets triggered it brings it up for you to see it and to deal with it which is what's going on in the world today <laughs> on the on the macro but that's what happens um within you and it's like a self-cleaning system right and so it does it automatically it's just learning and remembering who you are and how you are set up you know as a being it's more than just flesh and bone right so there's so much more to that you a lot of people don't understand or we forget as it is right and so it's all for you nothing's against you the only thing that's against you is ourselves and so with that let's just be masters of our lives and be in the present moment and deal with things as they come and arise for us and heal, transform them, and let them go, all right? And that's part of mastering our lives. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, want to set up a session, um, we can do that. Um, definitely can help you to work on that and just master your life, work on them as they come up in your life, transform them, heal them, whatever is the case that may be, so you can live a more healthy and happier life um, moving forward. And happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.